Hello everyone, welcome back to Atika's Adventures. We are in the Sawtooth Mountain Range of beautiful Idaho. Our journey began from Whitefish, Montana, and we drove all the way to Sun Valley, Idaho. The whole ride was very scenic. As we entered Sun Valley, we were excited to spend the next few days in this amazing little resort town nestled in the beautiful Sawtooth Mountains. We had rented a cozy Airbnb condo. It felt like home right away for us. And I will link up the details to this Airbnb in the description box below in case you guys would like to stay here when you visit Sun Valley. Let me give you a quick tour of this beautiful condo. As we enter, there is a cozy guest bedroom just at the left side and this is the bathroom right next to it. And here is the lovely master bedroom. The master bedroom has its own private bathroom too. Come on, let's head on upstairs now. Here we have this cozy living room. the perfect dining area, a little study right next to the kitchen. Let me turn on the lights here. Wow, this is perfect for all of my home-cooked meals. Now let me take you one more flight of stairs up and let me show you this lovely little bedroom they have here. Two twin beds, perfect for two more people. This house can easily fit up to six people. Let's go tour this beautiful town of Sun Valley. This town is a famous ski resort in the winter months, but it is also known as the summer camp for billionaires. That is because the rich and famous have an annual summer conference here. It is fun to walk around Sun Valley to explore it, but you can also book horse riding tours or you can take the gondola up to Bald Mountain. During the summer months, there are plenty of events and activities that take place here, such as art festivals, music festivals, fishing events, and the weekly farmer's market. One place I highly recommend in this wonderful town is the beautiful Botanical Gardens. This place is so relaxing and the fragrance of all the flowers and the trees. Oh, it just felt so calming to the senses. I can literally stay here for hours.
Sun Valley has plenty of trails to walk and hike. But my favorite way to explore this town is by bike. We rented bikes from PK's Bike Shop. This shop is located in downtown Sun Valley. They had really reasonable rates. I will be linking up their information down below in my description box. Do check it out. The Bigwood River flows through this town and we stopped here for a lunch break with yummy homemade sandwiches. Next, let's go to the breathtaking Redfish Lake, located just an hour away from Sun Valley, surrounded by the beautiful Sawtooth Mountains. You can spend the whole day out here. It is that beautiful. It is directly in front of the Redfish Lake Lodge that has all kinds of accommodations. There is also a lakeside grill where you can get fast food and ice cream. There are plenty of water sport options available at Redfish Lake. There are options to rent kayaks, canoes, paddle boards, paddle boats, sub squatches, or motor boats. And we decided to go for the motor boat. We rode all the way to the end of the lake close to the Sawtooth Mountains and when we got there, we had our little picnic right on the boat with homemade wraps. On the way back, the kids wanted to be the captains and I must say they did a fabulous job. We just could not get enough of this gorgeous lake, so we had to come back again, and this time we rented a Subsquatch. It is so easy to lose yourself in the beauty of this magnificent lake. And just like that, it was time to head back. As the glorious sun began to set behind the majestic 
Sawtooth Mountains, there was a strange magic in the air. A feeling of gratitude for being able to spend time in nature, but also a sadness that it was time to leave. As we drove off, our hearts were filled with hope that we would come back again and explore more of the stunning Sawtooth Mountains in Idaho.